Welcome back friends. So we talked about the grazofilvene and mechanism of action structure and uh, antifungal spectrum. Now this is the part B of the grazofilvene and in this video lecture what we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about the resistance against the grazofilvenes. Resistance. Resistance against resistance against grazofilvene. Grazofilvene, if you talk the resistance, so grazofilvene is actually a successful drug. And resistance is very uh, uh, commonly, or we can say it is very rare or not very occur. So the resistance in this case are very rare. And uh, one thing more, if we still talked about the resistance, so the first thing is about that uh, this grazofilvene will be working on that time when the microtubules are functioning means when the microtubules are producing the spindle fibers then this grazofilvenes will perform their mechanism of action okay so in this case what actually happen this microtubules sometimes they will produce the centrioles so once they produce the centrioles so then this grazofilvenes will be not affected this is the first resistance okay so the first resistance is conversion conversion of microtubules tubules into centrioles conversion of the microtubules into the centrioles so once the microtubules are converted into a centrioles so then the drugs will be not affected as we talked in the in the mood affection as we talked that it will be affected against the microtubules not on the centrioles so what actually they do the fungi will produce the centrioles and then the centrioles will produce the spindle fibers okay so this is the first resistance the second resistance if we talked about uh, this is the first one the second one is a flux pump production. A flux pump production. So this sponge will produce a kind of pump at their membrane area means here and somewhere. So let's suppose these are what these are the pump and we call that what a flux pump. So actually these pumps are responsible to expel or kick out the drugs. When the drugs will get internalized then they will be kicked out again through this pump. Okay. So let's suppose this is the drugs. In this case they will get internalized. And uh, what actually happen before going to before these drugs is going to perform their mechanism of action these drugs will be expelled out so let's suppose they were they are internalized and then they will be expelled out again through this area through this efflux pump so efflux pumps is actually you know efflux pumps is actually uh, remove the drugs or they can kick out the drugs before going to do the mechanism of action of these drugs so this is about the second mechanism of action, uh, second uh, resistance. So, okay, and uh, you know the resistance in this case are not usually occur, but uh, this is how the resistance is activated. One thing more, if still we are going to give these drugs on the patient, so then what kind of the side effects are activated? So there will be adverse or side effect. So let me write side effect. So the side effect against these drugs are the allergic reaction, this is the first one. The second one is the insomnia, diarrhea, fourth one is the headache. Liver filler, nausea, although there are some other side effects but these are the common. 
Now these are the common side effects which are actuated against these drugs. Now here one question arises in our mind that uh, all these processes are also occur in our own cell means the spindle fiber are also produced in our own cell the mitosis process are also present in our own cell or we can say centrioles and these microtubules are also present in our own cells but why this grisofibrins are not affected on our own cell but it is affected on the fungi cell the reason behind that that i already told you that the grisofibrin will be perform their mechanism of action when they produce the spindle fiber but in our cells the spindle fiber is produced by this centrioles the centrioles is actually produce the spindle fiber and the grisofibrin will not attack on the centrioles they will attack on the microtubules this is the first thing and they attack on the microtubules on that time when the microtubules perform their uh, their function means when the microtubules will produce the spindle fibers although the microtubules are present in the centrioles but they are not attack on it why because the centrio in, in, in the centriole the microtubules are not produced actually the centrioles are produce the spindle fibers so that's why they are not affected on our own cell and they will be affected on the fungi cell okay so this is the reason so i hope this video has helped you if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel uh, so try to best uh, remove the spelling mistake by yourself so like the video share the video and subscribe the channel to get more interesting video lecture like that thank you so much